Hey, this boy ain't Piper Boy is so funny to me. I do want to say, K-Shop and DNA, I seen that. I seen K-Shop on a lot of expert opinion. He's talking. Hey, for y'all just tuning in, yo, Piper Boy is hilarious. We gonna talk about it, bro. You know, he, he going crazy. It's like the, the third time I think he said something about DNA. I seen DNA was wilding out. He was talking crazy. Oh, come on, Kayshaun. <laughs> I don't want your Piper Boy funny as hell. Hey, y'all boy, go check out Piper Boy right now, man. This shit just popped off. Piper Boy talking about Norb's lawsuit, easy to block out, and GT threatening to do something. Talking about Kayshaun the DNA. This shit hilarious, man. Just my reaction right here. Hey, like, comment, and subscribe, man. I'm getting my YouTube followers up. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, man. My ain't told him. He told him. He told him. He was like, oh, you want to talk? Nah, I know a little bit about what's going on. I know basically K. Shine went on my expert opinion with Matt Hoffa. Basically, to talk about why him and DNA fell out, why uh, he going through the shit with URL, all type of shit. So... And then DNA got on live. Shout out to DNA and Kayshawn. Got on live and was like, basically like, nah, let me tell y'all exactly what went down without giving y'all too much. But I'm going to tell you exactly what went down. And I got to say, man, Kayshawn, he said a lot of nothing. It sounds like he's saying something. He don't say nothing. <clears throat> DNA, on the other hand, actually broke that shit down. If you haven't. Go on DNA channel, man. He actually broke that shit down, man. And that's that's the blessing, too, man. Like, as fans, we want to hear that direct shit. Like, tell us what's going on without saying, you know what I'm saying? No, I don't know what you're saying. Say what you mean to me, what you say. I hate that shit. Like, I don't know what you say. Say it, like, it's okay. Like, who I don't like hearing talk? I don't like hearing 50 Cent talk. Because that nigga, you, he, he's speaking crypts, cryptic. Uh, fucking murder move. Oh my god, can't complete a sentence. Them type of niggas, I some New York niggas, I can't understand for shit. And I understand they street niggas, they you know, you trying not to say too much, but them niggas can't complete a thought. And sometimes, even like, I don't know if you like me, but certain niggas can't complete a thought, man. That's hard. You want to go back for the being talk crazy? He went live, he detailed This nigga entertaining. You know what I'm saying? So, shout out to K Shine, shout out to DNA for me. You know, obviously, you know, I just want to put this out there. Like, I know how it is. I lost my mom and my, my grandmother in the same year. But DNA said, it's not like he's a good friend. He told you, he took it under contract. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I've been following DNA for years. The new URL, like, outside of Smack DVD, I came into the URL watching DNA, watching Tech 9 watching, um, who else was popping? I knew about Head Ice. I knew about Murder Mook, obviously. Well, Murder Mook is Schmack DVD, but um, I knew about Verb. I knew about Hitman. I knew about B-Magic. B-Magic was the first person I seen kill DNA. So that was different to see the cadence, the flow, and he still got it, and it's still, like, relevant. You know what I mean? Um, but, yeah, that's how I got introduced to DNA. That Tech 9 versus DNA was legendary. I like that. If you haven't seen that battle, go watch that battle. Contract, he told you not to sign, but like, that doesn't make sense. He's got a family, he's got a career. You know, so I don't know. Y'all tell me what y'all think. But, you know, K-Shine, you got a lot of people that's agreeing with you. I, I'm, I'm just not the person that... I'm going to say this about K-Shine. K-Shine, to me, seemed like he signed a Pippin deal. Y'all remember uh, The Last Dance where Michael Jordan was talking about how uh, he told Pippen not to sign that deal. And then Pippen got mad during the season. He didn't want to. That sound like K-Shine. And if you watch Battle Rap, you know DNA really, he like filled in the holes that K-Shine was fucking up on when it was the two and two. They made it legendary, but DNA was the, he was the bread and butter. If you know, if you know, you know. To agree with you, you know, but I see a lot of people are agreeing with you. So maybe this is the play. Like, yo, I'm going to go on everybody's podcast or, you know, the big podcast, my expert opinion. So you got about a million views accumulating, you know, talking about this, close to it. You know, so you're very important to the battle rap culture. You, DNA, so y'all talk, people want to listen, you know, and figure out what's going on. I just want to hear more of the details of why you feel like you are a 
wrong. I know you're talking about the 15,000. There's some other stuff I want to talk about. I know you're talking about the $15,000. Like, yo, they paid me not to battle, but I feel like I'm... Yeah, what's up with URL, man? With this um, paying people to get off a lead. Listen, man, I understand that at the end of the day is business. My take on that is... That's some gay shit, man. If y'all the number one, if y'all the number one rap league, it's like, I don't aim to say gay. I ain't trying to offend nobody. But what I mean is, that is some, that make them look bad, man. Y'all paying people go, battle rap looks good when everybody's striving, because everybody's winning. At the end of the day, it's about the, it's about the battlers. And I, I blame the battlers, man. Nobody's stepping up. I see Easy, I see Sean, I see all these people branching out. Geechee and all these other people. If the battler, if the battlers don't do nothing, the league gonna forever run y'all life, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why I respect people like Swamp, even though I don't agree with some of his tactics. But Swamp, like, man, I'm a regular dude. I, I take care of this, I take care of that, I got a family, woo. I like Swamp. I just don't like that he's being controlled by URL. He don't think so, but he's definitely being controlled. I'm, I'm missing another 15,000 on the back end. But when you make the decision to not battle on the rare brain entertainment, you made that decision. Facts. You know what I mean? They didn't, you know, they gave you an option. You made the decision. So whatever the, the other, the back end of that is, <clears throat> that's on you. Facts. You know what I mean? So I don't y'all tell me what y'all think. So I feel like yo, like that. You kind of even know, bro, like you still move there. I will say this. I know you got a big situation coming up. I say with the K Sean, I seen my expert opinion. I think the way K Sean looking at it is. The people that he was offered the battle backed out. That ain't on him. In his mind, he like, I don't owe y'all shit. The motherfuckers y'all had up, like, I remember when the Jack Boy shit went down. That whole plane situation where he was like, bro, they sent me to Texas. I'm like, damn, they, how they fuck up, yo? I can see what K. Sean is frustrated like. Then he get there, the nigga Jack Boy having a seizure. Shout out to Jack Boy, but the way I'm looking at it is, if I'm K. Sean, I'm like, well, that's two battles. They like and K. Sean. They was the end of my contract and these niggas ain't showing up. That ain't on me. I fulfilled my duties because I pulled up. I pulled up. Take care of me. And URL looking at it like, nah, you got to make those up. I don't know what their contract details are, but if I'm K-Shine, I can see his frustration. Hold up, I think it's on the money team. You know what I mean? Money team battle league or something like that. Don't burn bridges if you do not have to. Right now, you know what I mean? Yeah, he kind of went against the machine, but he created his own lead. You know, and he kind of created that lead kind of to go at them. You know, so it's, you got to think about that. Like, if you're going to go against the machine like that, go your own way. Make sure you got tons of money lined up. Facts. What you got to do. Shout out to K. Shout out to K. I don't know what to say. Shout out to K. Now, yeah. I do want to say, I seen that URL. People are saying URL open orbs. You know, they gonna have to open the books. I'm hearing all that. I'm reading through paperwork. I'm trying to figure all this out. They said, <laughs> they said on Twitter, like, yo, lawyers are saying if we open the books, people gonna get mad about how much money they making all that. I'm, I'm like, I'm kind of looking like, where the books at? Norbs. Yo, you are real trying to cut Norbs out is criminally crazy. I remember Nor Norbs responsible for a lot of big names that people ain't talking about. Norbs found a lot of people. Now, there are blogs out there you can look up what Norbs done for the culture. And if you recall, if any of you guys are real battle rap uh, fans, you can look back and Norbs was on every poster along with Smack and all them. Norbs did all the dirty work. Norbs did all the dirty work, man. And now they trying to cut him out of the deal. He ain't been getting paid. I don't blame Norbs, man. Listen, if you're going to let me rock with you and, and I'm doing all the work, because I felt like he was doing all the work. You know what I'm saying? Now it's like motherfuckers like treating them, like putting, pushing them all to the side on some shit. I want to know. You know what I mean? But, you know, I, <laughs> I ended up looking at everything. I don't even think it's going to get that. I don't know if y'all remember the appellate court. Like when trying to argue that they be saying like yo, so you can take it. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't really care really too much about this. As far as the settlement, this is tort law. You know what I mean? I got custody. Even when I went to to child custody for a settlement before you go back to everybody got. It. It's one thing. to the easy shit. That means that he was hanging. Like you don't know. Like no, I'm not. This is no. 
Northside. So if that's the situation, you got North saying things like, yo, like, what? You know what I'm saying? If you, if you're. He basically okay. saying Norris might lose the lawsuit. Like, his shit may not even get far. Because, um, what's going to end up happening? Everybody's speculating that if you already have to open up them books, then you know who's going to be the first one to come out? <laughs> Verb. Verb going to be like, I told y'all niggas. I know Verb going to come out. And now that changed the trajectory trajectory of people's thinking when they when they sign a contract or when they put things on. And then they look. Then I think if URL get exposed, I think everybody will start looking at easy differently because now he done put it out the verb done put it out there Keshawn Keshawn put his Keshawn behind enemy lines talking shit you know what I mean from, from what I know people saying easy on contract but easy doing his own thing so is he really on contract because if he was on contract I would have been done did some shit but Keshawn on the other hand you saying all this other shit and it's like Keshawn they paid you easy fulfilled his contract for the most part he was just sick so yeah a partner so if they're not looking at him as a partner, I don't know about you can be looking at him as a partner. To be like, no, man, man. Norm should definitely Larry be a partner. Come on. They care about the facts. I'm just saying, but if that's what they care about, Norm should probably figure out, like, yo, I got an attorney that's working pro for fears. Forget all the, the... What you trying to... Larry, what you doing? What happened? I don't look at this like everybody puts it. I wish I wish I would have a company and then I Larry is you know, he put them at risk by doing stuff like this ain't the he put them at risk by doing something like that. You know, so yeah, I think me personally that was used to get rid of those. I'm just saying what it is, that's what I think. But about like, yo, like I'm about to sue you and like he could have figured out a way to try to I remember what I said early on when DNA was addressing Hey Sean and he's talking about so what this man is saying right now i'm skipping through some parts man because this is his video and i don't want to be disrespectful but what he's saying right now is when norbs filed the lawsuit basically that was that was the url smack and beasley and chico way of distancing themselves from norbs so that's how they can you know disclaim him and all that because if norbs lose he he basically brought all them artists there and now he's without like you know what i mean they could treat him like a like, you know what I mean? Like a stepchild, basically. About the k situation. And he's saying like, yo, I told k not to sign that contract. I told him not to sign the contract. It's not a good deal. Right? Y'all remember that? Facts. I don't know if y'all seen, but on Facebook, I think a little bit after that, you know what I mean? Before I ends up posting, Kichi got his round against DNA. Like, you would love it. I went back yo. and I looked. You are real don't speak a lot, but I think I have to say that they're very crafty with the battles, with the battle uh, little snippets. Like if they going at somebody, like the easy come, easy go line, cause they know easy ain't with URL and they post it in all the trailers. Now URL be going at DNA, they going at DNA low key. Then they going at, um, they going at K-Shine. They put K-Shine going at DNA when they battle. Like they real strategic. I, you know, in my mind, I'm thinking that's all beastly. I really don't care for Beasley at all, man. It's like it's been deleted. You know what I mean? The post has been deleted. Y'all know, like, you don't really play, bro. Like, they can get petty. When they got petty, tell, title tell, tell, the bars, bars telling. Sitting around, the Q versus Tay Rock, and Tay Rock going in. So they not exempt from being petty. They are very, very petty. All right, I'm petty, petty. This nigga funny. Look like y'all being petty. You know what I'm saying? Black captain in the battle, right? He's marketing it. Going on every platform and all that. So easy and easy lit lit. Right? They, they, they're crazy lit and regular. Crazy lit. battle. It wasn't my... Brick baby. I'm going to say this. If you haven't already, go watch the easy versus Geechee battle. I wasn't crazy about the battle because I felt like easy spent too much time on the angle. That's me. This is... This is Easy's first L to me because he spent too many. He spent too much time, and it debunked his his. Run. When you angle, it's risky. Y'all gonna see if y'all watch the second round. It's very debatable, but it's risky. Easy, stick to the bars, man. We know you for because we can fight for you. I'm a fan. Easy, don't come at my neck. I'm a fan. Easy, 
stick to the bars, man. That's what we that's what we love you for. Stick to the bars. Have some quotables that we can we can argue for you. You feel me? I'm part of E Block. I fuck with Ease. I got his merch and everything. Sweatsuits and everything. All I'm saying is stick to the bars. Get away from England. Because England, all it takes is a great rebuttal. Now your whole round, because to in a lot of people's eyes, your round was thrown away because of the of the rebuttal Gucci said. Cause I ain't gonna lie. When you said the mama with my mom had to be Superman at her lowest was so hard. Yo, it was so hard, but it's like, yo, that shit is so debunked because you went with the angle. Shout out to Easy Man. Love him. Love hey, you. Yo, no jumper is kind of trying to talk. I don't know if you know Grip. He talking crazy. He trying to, you know how Grip Baker, if you know Grip Baker, this dude that got into it with, with Charleston White and all that. You know what I'm saying? He ain't really got a life. You know, he tried that with Geechee. It ain't going to be. So Geechee basically got under the comments, right? Because the dude was talking crazy. And Geechee was just like, he basically told them, y'all better change this title or I'm coming up there. You know what I mean? They changed that title. Nah. Y'all changed the title. Y'all changed the title. Y'all changed the title. Y'all changed it. Get your ass on the scare Brick Baby. I don't know who Brick Baby is. I gotta check it out. Get was like, I'm coming up to change it now. Change that title. Next thing I know, I'm like, they ain't about to change. Brick Baby ain't about to change that title. It ain't about to go like that because you're talking crazy. It ain't about to die. I looked at that title. It was changed. Yeah, nah. Adam 22, like, I done been through enough this year. Put Remy on this summer jam. Don't make me go crazy on Whipper. We ain't about to, uh-uh. Nah, uh-uh. Don't let a loss take you away from YouTube for three weeks. I ain't gonna lie, man. The thing is with Easy, man. Easy, once again, I'm part of E Block. I've been rocking with you since since you got out of jail, low key. Every battle, I love your progression. But Easy, if you're gonna be the algorithm, you gotta be algorithming all the time. You can't go through what you're going through because now everybody looking at it as you, it's a law. It's the same shit what happened with the Pat Poo situation. If you claim nothing ain't happened, bro, I'm rocking with you. The only thing is when you take two weeks. You could have got on live and talked about anything else and had people wondering why he ain't talking about it. As opposed to waiting two weeks. To to any fan or anybody, they looking at that as, okay, easy, easy waiting for his face to heal. Or easy, any mark on my face, they gonna look like, oh, whatever, whatever. Now mind you, um, I'm a fan, but at the same time, it's like, damn, easy. Every nigga know, nigga whoop your ass, he ain't gonna show your face for a minute before you show up. You saying that's the time you had to keep calm. That shit kind of fuck up a nigga head. Like, damn, Easy must have really went through that shit. And, yeah, I think you said it in one of the blogs, man. There's going to be a running narrative for at least two, three battles. You feel me? I don't think Big K can fuck with you. But I think you need to stop angling. Don't angle. If you're going to angle, don't ride the angle. Like, just say your piece. You know, scheme a little bit. Ride the angle for a little bit and then get off it. Nigga, you be riding. You roll that angle. I ain't gonna do that shit. I ain't gonna lie. That low key pissed me off. That's why I keep bringing it up. What are you doing, bro? You still easy to block. You know what I'm saying? The battle you. It ain't enough. Where's you at? Because they looking like, yo, like it's been a, almost a month. He's, once again, bro, if you listening to this, you probably ain't gonna listen to this, but any of his fans, I just say, keep in mind, man, think about easy is understanding, like, bro, when you go missing, especially when your name is being smutted out, it look crazy when you come back finally and be like, yeah, so I had shit going on. I'm gonna keep it a dollar. That's how you, I'm gonna keep it a dollar. You know what I mean? Such and such. He's be out me rolling when he say that shit, but bro, that shit look crazy when you come back after niggas been dragging your name through the mud, like you feeling like that's some internet shit, woo. Nah, but you been doing this consistently when you was building your brand. Now all of a sudden you like you taking hiatuses and shit. It just look bad. Cause you're a blogger plus. And oh yo, shout out to hey, yo, easy. Make sure you do that bar for bar breakdown too, man. I missed that. Let me tell you that. Yeah, 
Easy ends. Bro, like me, like steaks are cakes. Fat. That's another thing you ain't missing. Yo, we really want to see that battle between. We really want to see that battle between um, you and K um, Tay Rock. I want you to get Tay Rock the fuck out of here. I ain't even holding. I ain't. I don't too much care for Tay Rock at all. I like that bar. I got behind Rock to make a profit. I'm a drug dealer. I got behind Rock to make a profit. You know the wild thing about that bar is the fact that he took offense to that, which was wild to me, because I'm like, my nigga, Surf said in his blog, like, yeah, we got the hottest nigga. We brought him in our crew. So you got you got behind Easy to make a profit, and like you the second in command, Rock. How you take offense to something like that when your man said the same shit? The only thing difference is Easy said that shit in the bar. I really don't think Tay Rock could fuck with you, but that's just me. Hey yo, like, comment, and subscribe, man. I will be doing in um I will be doing uh videos like this, recap and reviewing everything that pops off. Like, comment, and subscribe. It's your boy Cam. I'm out.